Hello and welcome to Meenakshi and Meenakshi's Kitchen and Home Appliances. In this video, you are going to watch Meenakshi and Meenakshi's 9-in-1 food processor attachment. You can make your old existing mixie into a food processor. For further details, please check on this video. My name is Shankar. You are going to see about the coconut scraper and citrus juicer attachment in this video. This is the attachment which is called as Meenakshi and Meenakshi coconut scraper and citrus juicer attachment. This attachment comes with a gearbox. The basic unit is the gearbox. This gearbox consists of four coupler that is the coupler which consists of four teeth okay this four teeth coupler sits in your old existing mixer grinder here comes the silicon gasket and this attachment is to be seated in your mixer grinder see i'm fitting it and make it in a clockwise direction and this assembly unit this is the collection of the coconut grater and here is the coconut grater it is made of pure 304 stainless steel blade it is 100% rust proof i'm going to make it fix in this gearbox yes it is fixed right now and i'm going to switch on the mixie in the first speed i'm taking a fresh cut coconut See how easily it is brain grated and it is easy to convert the grated coconut from the coconut scraper to the bowl. The citrus juicer attachment is to be made seated above the coconut scraper blade. Okay, now I am going to switch it on and I have a fresh Mozambi cut it ready so that I am going to use it for making Mozambi juice. I'm going to transfer this juice into tumblers. You can watch the freshly made Mozambi juice. In this segment, you are going to watch about the atta kneading, chopping and whipping disc. Okay, you are going to see all these three items, how it is to be fitted and how it is to be used. Okay, now the food processor main unit that is the gearbox is ready so that I am going to fix this in the existing mixer grinder and here comes the main holder. This is called as the main holder. This holder is for used for uh, atta and chopper attachment so that I am going to fix this main holder into the drive gear drive and I am going to take the main portion of this food processor this is the main bowl mixing bowl in this bowl I'm going to keep in this drive so that I'm going to place it here and I'm going to rotate in the clockwise direction this is the blade holder attachment this is required for all three purpose for whipping for chopping as well as for attanator so that I'm going to fix this blade holder first in the bowl so that hereafter I am going to fix the atta kneader blade into the bowl. Okay, now I have taken 350 grams of wheat flour so that I am going to pour little oil. I am pouring one tablespoon of oil in this and I am going to add the wheat flour, 350 grams of wheat flour, salt to taste and I am going to cover the lid. You have to fix it here and you have to tighten it. Now I have taken 350 grams of wheat flour so that I have taken uh, the equivalent level of water in the blue mark for 350 grams. So I'm going to switch on in the first speed and water is to be added little by little.
Okay, here is the dough ready for your chapatis. See how non-sticky it is. Nothing sticks in the bowl. Here is, here is the atta dough which is very very soft. See you can feel the texture it is very soft. If you want it more soft you can add little more water. And next comes the chopping blade. So that I am going to fix this blade holder first. Then I am going to fix this chopping blade. And I will take in 4 cut onions. I am going to drop it in the bowl. I have taken onions and I am going to keep in the first bead. You just see the magic how fast it chops. Here comes the chopper. It is not even a minute. So that see how, how soft and how small tiny pieces you have arrived after using the one click of your first switch. Now we can see how to make a fresh omelette using this whipping dish. So that I am going to fix the uh, blade fixing unit first and I am going to add this whipping dish here and I am going to add some 2 tablespoons or 3 tablespoons of chopped onion. Now I am going to add the eggs into this. Okay, it is ready. Then we can close the lid and we can whip it in the first Here comes the fresh omelette, it's ready to use. I'm going to show you about how to use the food processor for slicing, for grating, garnishing and for potato finger chips so that here comes the attachments and this is the main gearbox this is the main gearbox which is to be fixed into your mixer grinder then here is the main unit holder you're going to fix this holder here this is the main bowl it is a polycarbonate unbreakable jar or else it is a container you can you have to fix it here and made rotate into a clockwise direction and this is the blade blade holder this is the finger chips blade and this is the blade holder unit so that i'm going to fix this here and here comes the cap of this container so that i'm going to lock this and i'm going to show how to make yummy finger chips at your home within seconds so that i'm going to switch it on This is how easily you can make finger chips. Okay, see the same finger chips, very neat and same length for easy cooking of finger chips. This is the main blade holder disc. I'm going to show how to fix this blade. So that, see you here is a flip in the blade. This flip, you have to place it here and just a click. That's all. This is how the blade should be placed into this blade disc. I have taken the slicer blade so that we have to fix the main unit, main body unit. I have to close it in the clockwise direction and I am going to place the blade here above and go, I am going to close the cap. So that here comes how to make salad using, I am going to make salad using cucumber, carrot, and radish. I'm going to close it. Yeah. 
this is how easy to make a salad you can check the green color the white color radish and the carrot here see how evenly it has come it is much even and it is easier and it is time saving so that let's check how to grate the carrots i'm going to lock this cap i'm going to switch on the first speed See how easily we can grate carrot. See the texture. Wow. See how is the texture. Here is the garnishing blade. We are going to chop badam and cashew in this for garnishing sweets, kesar badam, everything. So that here is the first piece. I'm going to drop this evenly. If you want to make your old mixer grinder into a new food processor, hope so you must have watched this video fully. If you like this product or if you want to purchase this product, please see the description box. There is the link of the website address and also our shop address of Salem so that you can purchase in shop as well as you can purchase in our website. So that if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe.